Hey, how's it going? Here I am again uh, with one of the Panasonic Professional Digital Audio Tape Decks SV3700. Uh, I did have this one on my channel before, probably a couple of times, but hey, <laughs> this time I have a remote control for it. <laughs> and it's kind of a little bit ruined but it's working <laughs> so let's play a little bit with this unit i'm just gonna demonstrate once uh, once again play remote is working just fine uh how to check your error rate because i think on this unit is very very good <laughs> yes so The thing is, uh, most of the thing that you can find on remote control is already there. But it's nice to have remote control, even on this professional digital audio tape with a rack. Probably good for the studios and uh, stuff. I'm going to just demonstrate first how it works. Of course, fast forward is very fast on this machine. Uh, and it's working just fine. Also, shuffle is working. That, uh, that would be the first thing that I would test if I want to buy a unit like this. Because if it can pass that test <laughs> and the tape is normal without distortion or drops, uh, that's already something, you know, but I just wanted to mention so let's skip two tracks uh, As you know already you don't have RCA input and outputs analog All right That was that was drop I think let's go again All right that tape. It's really really humid now. Aha. Uh -huh, it's the tape. Okay. I got the Plenty of tips they are chipped here and there, but that's why I test it with a bunch of other tracks and stuff and you can see if it's working good or not. So it's very, very humid and hot today in New York City and machine like this shouldn't be working without air conditioning. And now I had to turn it off because of the, of course, <laughs> you would hear very very uh, loud noise if I didn't turn it off but I guess for 10 minutes I will survive and the dot will survive <laughs> so yeah I mentioned before that uh, if you want to see the drop error rate uh, there is a like a service menu whatever how do you call it uh, hidden menu so you can uh, get that menu working if you press at the same time mode reset and pause button i don't think that i can i can try no i don't i cannot do it uh, i'm gonna you know pause the video and then i'm gonna press mode reset and pause at the same time and then we're gonna continue so now when we are entered that mode we can press one more time mode and then we're gonna see our error rates now that the tape is not playing but if i go play you will see the error rate and as you can see on this tape right now it's very very low that's a very good sign so when the tape is playing then you can see the error rate now it's not playing yet you see very low error rate uh, that's how you can uh, first thing first of course if the dot is not working properly um, then you can hear you will hear drops distortion no sound chipped sound whatever but if everything is working just fine and you just want to be sure the error rate is low uh, there is a hidden menu mode reset and pause 
and you can check that. On some model you can also check the uh, hours of head uh, on the machine, but I think that this model is kind of mechanical thing at the back. And I didn't even check it because if the, the this error rate is low, that's already good for me. And the sound is good, that's already good for me, you know. So I rewind it and this is the beginning of the tape. So what happens if the error rate goes above, you know, like a, then you're gonna see cleaning, cleaning warning on the display, uh, which means maybe you need really a cleaning. So I suggest for everyone who's wanna buy that or is buying that to buy a cleaning tape because cleaning tape will help you reduce the error, uh, error level eight. I'm gonna, all right, exit that special menu. This is a normal menu, uh, absolute time. So yeah, uh, as I wanted to mention, yeah, uh, you don't have RCA input and output analog. Uh, you have a coaxial RCA input and output and also toss link, but you have a professional X XLR inputs and output for analog recording and playback. So yeah, this is a very good machine and I tested it on uh, many of my tapes. Most of them are recorded on different machines such as Tascam, you know, like uh, Sony. So it will play nicely. Uh, uh, those tapes, this tape I think is recorded on Sony. So yeah. This is a very nice and neat device. I think it's most of the time you can use it in the studios, small studios, but of course, since we have a remote control and it comes with a remote control, then it can easily be a part of your hi-fi system. Of course, the color is the a little bit unique, but hey, that's Panasonic. So that would be all. I just wanted to show it off that it's in good working condition and if you want to check your error rate uh, I did already made a video similar to this one but eh, why not why not do it again all right take care see you next time